Hey guys, let's talk about Beauty and the Beast. And this week's episode, Catherine um, ultimately didn't really make a decision, but she did cheat on Gabe. <laughs> I mean, she has had so many outs. Okay, Gabe has basically looked her dead in the eye and has said, is it me or is it Vincent? And she says, it's you. And then goes to see Vincent to break up with him, but then ends up kissing him. I mean, come on, guys. Why? We all know that Kat and Vincent are endgame. So just do it properly. Have her break up with Gabe. Have her go to Vincent and so that they can just be together. Enough of this back and forth. Like, I feel like the last three or four episodes have been the same thing. Gabe begging Catherine to be ready to be with him and please stay away from Vincent and please do this. It's like, it's not going to happen. So can we stop having the same conversation over and over again? And you're making me dislike Catherine now, okay? Because he's given her so many outs and she's now gone this way. It's like, just admit that you want to be with Vincent. We all know it and just go there. Like, be done with it. Anyway, so yes, we got the big moment, which we've been waiting for, which which was for Vincent and Catherine to get back together, but now it's just under, you know, a cloud of secrecy, which is ridiculous. Um, so the other stuff that was going on in this episode was Sam. And Sam, of course, was wreaking his havoc once again, and he had, at the end of last week's episode, he had found another kid who worked, who lived at the orphanage that Gabe did when they were children, and he injected him with that serum, and he had turned him into a beast. And so he was sent out on a mission to try to get rid of Vincent, and he ends up you know, crashing into his car, flipping over the car, but he doesn't really end up killing Vincent. He just ends up, you know, trapping him in the car. And then, of course, when Vincent finally tracks him back down, he's passed out and Sam has pretty much, like, tried to kill him. So, um, uh, uh was that? No, he, he got a hold of him and then they tried to get out of this building before this bomb went off and it blew up and he fell and I guess... Vincent was trying to revive him and he died, but then he came back. So now he's no longer a beast. And I'm like, why don't you guys just do that to Vincent? Like, just do the same thing. Anyways, so there's no traces of the serum in his body. And now the guy's back to being a normal person. But he doesn't have memory loss, so of course he's still going to remember all that went, hap that went down with him. So I don't know how they're going to explain that to him. Um, so Sam is now locked up. He took some pill and he was throwing up in the in the prison to try to get it out of his system and it looks like he did he's holding on to it so we'll see what happens next week when he I guess takes it or gives it to somebody else I'm not exactly sure what that pill is going to do but we'll see what happens um so again we didn't really have much going on in terms of like cat and them doing a, a whole lot of police work I mean they were but you know it always ends up being Vincent doesn't want to beast out Vincent doesn't want to use his b-side Vincent does and we're just like oh oh my a goodness like lather rinse repeat people let's get a new thread um you know he had a good conversation with his besties JT but again it's like I don't know the show it's just been okay for me this season um like I said the end is what I've been waiting for but it was just again like poorly written break up with Gabe just do it and I'm sure he'll be over it in a minute okay Anyways, let me know what you guys thought of this week's episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.